Okay, hey guys. I'm gonna teach you how to do the interactive clones on Sony Vegas. This is basically what it's gonna look like. This is my second tutorial. And before I start, I'd just like to say thank you for those who subscribe to me. I have 50 subscribers now. Yay. Okay, anyway. Okay, first thing you need to do for the uh, interactive clones is you want to film yourself pretending to get punched on one side like this and then on the other side, see how I just kind of walked? You could do this all in one shot. And on the other side, pretending to punch your clone. So basically I'm going to teach you how to do basic cloning and I'm also going to include how to create that interaction between the two characters. Alright, now once you have your two clips, I do right now, what you're going to do is click over here and click uh, insert video track so you have two. You could really delete the uh, the sound unless you, you want to keep the sound, but for now I'm going to delete it. I don't really need it. What you're going to do is take one of the clips and hold it on top the punching person rather the punching person that the punching person and put them on top like this you can zoom in now what you're gonna do is uh, lower the opacity down to about 50 percent like that so that if you look over here you can see both of the characters now what you're gonna do is you're gonna time it you're gonna move the pieces left and right to get the timing correct see how that was way off all right let me just move this over I punch here, so, oh, okay, that was close, okay, so if I move this forward, no, back, okay, now move this back a little bit, boom, see how perfect that looks, there we go, alright, now we can put this up on full, full opacity, now I'm just going to trim these off, I don't really need the beginning half. I'll just move it down together like that. Okay. Now what you want to do is you're going to go to the first one and click event pan slash crop. Now once you get here, this only works for Sony Vegas Pro. Okay, it doesn't work for uh, any of the other Sony Vegas programs. Like Home Studio or any one, any one of those. So you're going to go down here and click mask. Okay, now you're going to click one of these, the anchor tool over here on the side, and for now, you're going to draw a basic little box around your character. Now, you want to add as much points as you want on this side because you're going to need them. But if you look up here in the preview section, you can now see that the two characters are showing. Now, it doesn't look perfect, mainly because the lighting is bad. You can probably fix that on later, but later on, but for now, this is how we're going to work with. This is what we're going to work with. Okay, now, this is going to be very time-consuming. Now, as you scroll around here on the bottom, as you scroll through the video, just keep going until you reach the part where, I, where you punch. See right here is where I punch. Now what you want, this is, this is going to take a long time, so you want to zoom in. You're going to use the left and right arrow keys to find the right positions. The first punch is here. Right here you can see how the arm is crossing over the, the middle line. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to click this normal edit tool button over here. And you're going to drag the pieces over at the right spot where the arm is. So, you're going to get something weird like this. Now, once you start feathering, actually, I should do that now. Okay, both feather it. Get a good feather. I'm going to put nine. No, eight. Eight, eight should be fine. Okay, so, hold on, let me fix this. Both. Let's put it on eight. Okay, now back here. Alright, this is where our first hand is. If you look, you can sort of see it. 
you know, move around the points a little bit to get the right hand. Okay, now go back to the bottom here, click and hit right. The arm moves. So what you gotta do is you gotta move the points. Like so. And you're basically gonna keep doing this until the very end. So click right on the bottom, move the points. Now you see I'm punching on his on the person's left side of the face, so it's not gonna show on that side of the face. So you can really just cut off right there. If you look in the preview box, it looks like I'm coming in from the left side. <clears throat> So you want to just move the points over. Again, you're going to need a lot of points depending on uh, on your character's movements. And since the, the punch is really fast, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's really going to be like a giant blur. So you're going to rearrange the points, get it just right, like so, and just keep going. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, right here, my arm begins to disappear, so I want to move this point out of the way here. Move this point down too, because I don't want the... There we go, that's good. Oh, right here, just move that there. Then my arm comes up here, so I want to move this down here. Move this here, actually move that there, move that there that there you're gonna just keep going on with this this will take a while but it's it's worth it in the end move the points over again so this is basically how cloning works you basically cut off cut off one end of the uh, of the video and let the other side play now here I'm getting back up so I want to move these over so that my other clone doesn't run into it And you can just use brightness and contrast to fix the lighting. And there we go, that's that's it. Alright, now let me just X this out. Let me play it back. And there we go. And punch. Again, you can fix the lighting, you know. My side looks darker on one, but when I touch it up, it'll look better. That's basically it. That's how you do the interactive clones. Thanks for watching, and subscribe, comment, rate, and yeah, thanks.